Hey there, in this video tutorial, we're going to cover how to create dynamic videos in Potion. First, on the top left, we're going to click the Create New Video button. Hovering over Dynamic Video, we're going to hit Start Recording. At this point, you have the option to choose between personalizing the greeting and video background, personalizing only the video background, or personalizing only the greeting. I'm going to select the top one. That is our most effective and most encouraged use of Potion because it enables you not only to dynamically change out the greeting, but also show your prospects website or LinkedIn page in the video background behind them, further enticing them to click on your video and watch it and receive your message. Next, your camera is going to boot up. You're going to immediately notice that we've got a red circle. You want your face to be inside that red circle to ensure best output of both the lip sync and the lip dub. Once we have that adjusted appropriately, we can hit start recording. In a moment, but not yet, I'm going to hit start recording. It's going to give me a three, two, one countdown. And then at that point, we're going to say, hey there, with a brief conversational pause, and then the rest of your message, like this. Hey there, Spencer from Potion here, doing a test video for a tutorial. At this point, I can click the play button and watch it back. If I like what I see, I'll hit save and continue. If I feel like I could do a bit of a better job, I have the option to re-record in the bottom right. At this point in time, we're going to generate subtitles for your video. This usually doesn't take too long. Uh, the longer the video, the longer it will take, but it's still rarely ever over 30 seconds. Um, at this point, it is uh, good to note that we always encourage our Potion users to toggle your subtitles on for all of your videos. The two reasons this is a best practice, one, you don't know where your recipient is going to open your video. If they don't have their headphones and they're walking down the street, you want to be sure they can still get your message by reading your subtitles. And more importantly, the subtitles show up in our customized gift preview in the email, which will say, hey, and then their first name, which will further entice them to open your video because they'll see that it's personalized just for them. At this stage of the recording process, all we're doing is validating that Potion has correctly identified and isolated the words, hey there. If you get to this stage and more of those words are highlighted, it's rare, but it can happen. All we have to do is either click through the words here to identify just hey there, or use the bar at the bottom to do the same thing. At this point, we're going to hit save and continue. Now we're going to upload our default background URL which is only there on the off chance one of your prospects' websites uh, has a broken link and it gives you a 404. At this point, we're going to add our prospects. The most effective and efficient way is to use the import button in the bottom right where you can either upload a CSV or uh, import from your CRM, which we connect to most. Uh, at this point, we're gonna copy and paste our names uh, just for the use of this video. And you can see that Lisa, has a check mark, which means I've recorded a Lisa before, whereas Bart and Maggie don't. So I'm gonna now have to go in and record Bart and Maggie to make sure that we have custom greetings for them as well. At this point, the only difference in recording from when you were recording earlier is that there is no three, two, one countdown. So we're gonna click record greeting and immediately say, hey Bart, in a conversational tone, and then click stop. Hey Bart, and then save and continue. Hey Maggie, and now we're ready to go. Now we're going to hit generate dynamic videos. At this point in time, Potion's going to work its magic on the back end to generate those videos for you. What we can do while we wait is some of the aesthetic changes and modifications to that landing page of your Potion video. First and foremost, you can edit the video title in the top left. Please note that we do enable dynamic fields like first name, uh, so it will pull Maggie or Lisa or Bart. So if I wanted to change it to quick video for when your recipient opens it, it will have their name automatically put in there. And the rest of the video uh, modifications would happen under your video settings button on the top right, where we can click change layout and it will bring us to this page where we can use the add page sections drop down to add things like call to action buttons if we want to send them to a pricing page, for example. Images, if we have a, a great image of a testimonial that you can add. We can also embed video links should you have a walkthrough video or something of interest that you'd like your recipients to see as well. Finally, 
Once you've sent out this video, you may decide, hey, I'd like to send more people this video than I did originally. All you have to do is come back to the video, click add more prospects, and then we start you back at the stage where you're going to import your prospects using either a CSV or your CRM import connection, record the missing greetings, and then ask it to process those videos again. Once you get to the stage where you're ready to share your video, and on the left-hand side, you have the share your video button, and then we can search our integrations to grab the snippet that corresponds with your email sending tool and add that in accordingly. For more video tutorials, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.